What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Igmatica 2 Expert. Oh, yeah, guys. So I am here, bedrock level, using our flint and steel. This thing is about to break. Oh, it just gained some durability. How did it gain durability back? I don't know. That was weird. Uh, yeah, we're using our flint and steel here. I don't want it to run out of durability. <laughs> Uh, using our flint and steel to collect some of these grains of infinity. Yes, there are ways for us to uh, Collect this stuff without having to resort to this method and I would like to try and get that done uh, So we needed like I think a minimum of 81 of these to get started here And yeah, while this really isn't that bad to farm it I'd rather not have to do this every single time we need grains of infinity So I want to try and get a way to kind of automate us collecting this stuff all right, so we have two blocks plus 90, 103. So yes, we have more than enough for what we want to get started here. So let's get back up to the surface of our base. Um, so the thing is, if you take nine of those, you can turn into an infinity block. And then if you put that through the sag mill, you can get nine infinity back plus some grrr, infinity dust or whatever. The infinity dust really is useless. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you take nine of these infinity dust blocks and put it into a compressed infinity dust block. Let's take a look at this. We go uses. Um, yeah, so we have the infinity dust block, the uses on that through the sag mill, we get nine grades of infinity back plus the infinity dust. And this stuff really has no use. You can't combine it back into an infinity dust, or at least it doesn't show that we can do that here. Um, but if we take the dust block, we look at the uses, we can convert that into compressed infinity dust block, which we can put through a sag mill, get nine infinity dust blocks back plus a grain of infinity. So that's a way for us to start making this stuff automatically, right? We do get some of this infinity dust. We don't care about that. We do care about this and just collecting these automatically. Yeah. So let's start working on this project. So put all of that in here and we end up with 13 of these infinity dust blocks. Okay, so really what we need to do is make ourselves a pattern that's going to say nine of those equals one of these, right? Uh, we are going to want to make one of those. And we are going to need a crafting card. I don't have one of those, so crafting card. We do this. Can't craft that, but we can make a pattern to do it. Find a spot in here. Maybe we got an open slot somewhere right here. A okay, crafting card. Can we craft that up? We are missing a basic card pattern. All right, well, let's make one of those now. Do we have that? Basic card? No. Okay, just making double sure. Yeah, I guess we wouldn't have that in there. Otherwise, that would have completed the craft. I'm going to move that up here next to where I just put that basic card so I know where they are. All right, so if we do crafting card... Like so. Cool. So we have that available. So over here at our sag mill, we want to put this crafting card here. We want to put that right like that. So this is always being provided. And then our sag mill, we are going to say uh, push pull from the top. Okay. So that is going to grab those items. It's going to push it back into our interface. This interface is going to try and craft this item all the time, maybe. It should be doing it. I don't know why it's not. Anyway, when it goes back into the system, the system should say, hey, we have these items. It should try and craft this. And then it should complete this loop over and over again. But I'm not actually sure why that's not working. Maybe we should do it with an export bus with a crafting card. Maybe that's what we need to do. Okay, well, we can try it that way. We can still use this crafting card then. Um, oh, I didn't put the recipe in here, did I? Oh, that's the problem. Or I guess it doesn't have to go in there. It has to go somewhere. Yeah, that's the problem. My mistake. Um, infinity. This thing. We need one of these back so I can set the pattern. The crafting card has to go in there. And then the system needs to know how to actually craft that. Yep. So that goes here. That does that. Now the system needs to know how to craft that. So we have to put that pattern into the system somewhere. Let's find a home for it. Maybe right here. All right, so now that should continue to go over and over again. Yeah, there you go. It's automatically doing that. So what's going to happen here is eventually we're going to be getting these grains of infinity. Yeah, 
and then that's going to allow us to make more of these blocks and eventually we can upgrade to the next tier uh because if we take these things we look at the uses on these and the uses on those we can see double compressed and if we go to the uses on those the double compressed get put through and then we get a chance of getting the infinity dust block back plus a grain of infinity yeah so we can get up to 10 at a time that method but anyway this is a way to automate this process for now it's not super fast mm -mm. but yeah we don't have to go down there and use fire all the time if we just let that continue to cook and do what it's doing yeah that'll be just fine look I, it appears we've already collected 11 of these but i don't know if that's correct or not let's just do that so we have two in the system already if we get extras we'll know for sure um yeah i'm gonna repair the flint and steel and actually i'm gonna help this out just a little bit I would like us to get to the point where we can do the double compressed infinity dust block because that'll get this stuff much faster. Now, the reason why uh, we needed all of this stuff, if we look at the uses on the infinity dust, that is using this recipe for the reinforced obsidian, which we need for the wither proof blocks. Yeah. So we're going to need a bit of this uh, grains of infinity. And I figured it'd be a good idea just to have this set up so we can automatically generate this stuff. Yep. Anyway, let me go ahead and get to this and we'll be back guys. All right guys, so I had to see what happened when take some of this uh, infinity dust and click it on the ground. When you do it up above on the surface, nothing happens. It does like one of these little particle effects and then that's it. So doing it at bedrock, it looks like something's happening now. Like a lot of particles are kind of like happening close together. If you get next to this stuff, it kind of like, it does damage to you, kind of tosses you away. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure what all this is going to do. Like, can I set it on fire? Does it explode? I mean, obviously, there's something going on there. Are these things that we can destroy? No, no. Uh... It says that it can spawn Enderman. I'm not exactly sure what the whole purpose of this is for. If it does something. Yeah, because we look at the tooltip. Uh, it says releasing the area forms volatile dust cloud. Touching it is unhealthy. At the state of the oh, something just happened. Oh, that was my. That was this that went away. Um, so, yeah. And when the dust settles, it may leave some nasty things behind. So I guess we got to wait for the dust to settle. Oh, you can, you can put the fire out. That was weird. I put it out with the sword and it seemed to maybe it just went away at the same time. Anyway, uh, so there's just this one thing left. Hmm. I'm going to watch this for a while. I guess this is going to take a long time for it to finish. Yeah, it's still doing something. All right, guys. So I took the time and I farmed up the rest of these grains of infinity to do the double compressed. Yes. So that took a little bit of time to do, but I think it's worth it. We It's pretty much going to mean that we won't have to worry about farming this stuff up ever again. I'm noticing when I click on these machines, what is this blue thing right here? What is this all about? It's like a repeated pattern. It's not there when I go in my inventory, but when I click on an Ender IO machine, that's really weird. Anyway, um, so we are taking the double compressed and we're running it through the sagmill. We have collected seven blocks of infinity dust, which is pretty awesome. Plus five additional, I guess six additional now. And then these are the ones that I farmed up that we didn't actually need. So these are the ones that we are just collecting off the double compressed. Mm -hmm. So we can place all that stuff in there now. So that's pretty awesome. So these blocks, the infinity dust blocks, that's uh, over another stack of the infinity dust. Yeah, and we're just collecting this all the time now. Now it does cost a little bit to do this. It's not essentially free. I do have Enderium grinding balls in here. Yeah, so you craft 24 at a time. If we look at the recipe for those. Five Enderium turn into 24 of the grinding balls. So I just have one recipe here, and the system knows how to craft this now. Um, but as you see, like, every time we go through one of those double, it, like, does about a third of the grinding ball, right? So it's using quite a lot of that every single time. Now, we could remove the grinding balls completely. 
that could be a thing that we do. Um, don't know if I really want to do that, though, because it's a 5% chance we get the block. It's a 10% chance we get the greens of infinity. It seems like we get the blocks a lot more often than the greens of infinity for some reason. But anyway, the uh, grinding ball... The Enderium one gives us a bonus output of 145%. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe we don't necessarily need that. It would make it more free to not do that. Um, but we'd get them a lot less often, I suppose. We get Infinity Dust that time. We get Infinity Dust that time. I don't know. How often is the Infinity Dust off the double compressed? Double compressed... It says that's a 20% chance, so we're getting that quite often. We're not getting the other drop, so I don't know. It says there's a percent chance on the bonus, but I feel like some of them are weighted more heavily, even though like the percentages say they are what they are. Mm, I don't know. So we'll just let that cook. We'll see what we can get. We got 113 more grains of infinity, and if we need to boost up the production, we can put the grinding balls back in. So yes, this flint and steel has uh, been very, very useful. There's two of those, and I can put that XP back in there. Yep, that's been very useful to get the rest of the greens of infinity. So we were looking at trying to make wither proof blocks. So there's reinforced obsidian that is wither proof by itself. And then we saw that there's also um, the mystical agriculture wither proof block. That requires eight of the reinforced obsidian plus one black die. And that'll give us 16, so it doubles it. Uh, I think that's probably the way we want to go. So let's make a recipe for all of these different things. Uh, obsidian is another thing we don't have a whole lot of. We don't have a way to farm it. I think we might go to the end when we need more and just farm up like the pillars or whatever for the end dragon area. I don't know. There's ways that you can make obsidian in this pack, but none of it looks super easy and all of it involves lava. And I don't think I want to suck out all the lava in the nether. So I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. But anyway, we need a pattern for dark iron bars. We need a pattern for this. And then how are we doing on ink? 46. We got plenty of those. So we can make witherproof block like so. Okay, so we need a spot for three of these patterns. And again, we are running very low on space. In fact, I'll just put them up here. Okay, so wither proof. 100? Yeah, it says that we need 21 more obsidian. And we're missing just a little bit of the grains of infinity. We have not collected any more of those. You know what? Let's do the grinding balls again. It's 24, right? Per craft. I'm just going to throw those in there, and while this is going, we're going to go farm up some obsidian. I think that's how we're going to handle this. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead to the end, and we'll look at bean mining those pillars. All right, guys, so here in the end, yeah, we have all of these big old pillars of obsidian. This is apparently one of the best ways to farm obsidian. Yep, so we can just vein mine this and collect a whole lot. So the thing is, from what I understand, when you spawn in the dragon, it rebuilds these pillars if you vein mine them all. So it's essentially free obsidian. You shouldn't feel bad about doing this as long as you're planning on uh, respawning in the dragon at some point, I suppose. So how much obsidian do we have? Oh, I must have some of my thing. Oh, we got about a thousand now. That's not bad. Uh, probably vein mine a little bit more. Let's do this one. Do that and do it on the other side here. Cool. So how much did we end up with now? We got about 2,000, 2,009. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's pretty much all we needed to do. Let's head back. All right. So I auto crafted up. Well, I told the system to craft 100 of these and I crafted 112. But yeah, we have way more than enough of these witherproof blocks at this point. So the next step is we need to be able to put the wither boss together inside of the the containment that we're going to have. So there is a wither builder. Yep, this is one of my favorite blocks from Industrial Foregoing. It does require a machine case and another star, so we can't do this just yet, but after we kill our first wither boss, 
This is probably going to be the first thing we make. And I already know what the second thing is as well. So let's put this here. The other thing I want to make is an angel ring. I think that's the only other thing that is keeping us from making this is in fact a nether star. Yeah, I think we can do everything else here. So that's going to be another thing that we're going to be looking at doing. So let's put that on our list of things to make. Uh, okay, so Wither Builder. So we need Soul Sand, Wither Skeleton Skulls, Machine Case, Plastic, Nether Star. Uh, machine Case we already have on Auto Craft. So I'll craft that up. That's going to take a minute to happen. I think we have everything. So the only thing we're missing right here is the case when that completes and then the uh, nether star itself. And it looks like that is just about done here. So yeah, we have the case. So we're just missing another star to make this guy. Um, so for the meantime, we can just put this together and kill ourselves a wither boss. So soul sand, we have some of that. We do have extras. All right, 16 of that. And then we need the wither skeleton skulls. We have a few of those as well. All right, we got to figure out where we're going to do this. Um, I am kind of curious. Let's go do this like over on the other side. I am curious on these blocks here. Sometimes these blocks, they keep the wither boss in, but they let explosions go through. So we got to figure out where we're going to put this. If it lets explosions through, we don't really want that in our base. If it contains the explosions, then we can figure out something that we're going to do with those inside the base. So let's figure this out. If it like destroys all the dirt blocks and stuff around it. Yeah, we can't put that in our base. Uh, all right. So let's build just a little containment here. Okay guys. So we need just a little bit more blocks than what we had here to have a completely solid, I guess it's five by five by six. Is it six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, whatever. It's three by three by four on the inside. That's the important part. So we're just missing these two corner pieces here. And then I got the three blocks that'll go in front. Um, I have three blocks out, so it's easy for me to get in and out of this thing. So let's go ahead, make ourselves a wither boss like we do. This guy here, here, and then I'm trying to think the best way to do this. I'm going to place a block here. So with the bosses in there, I'm going to be wanting to smack it through a hole. So I guess we can just fill in this top one here. I think that'll be just fine. Uh, the wither boss shouldn't be able to get out of that hole and it'll be trapped by this ledge anyway. So yeah, I think that'll be, I think that'll be good. So place that here and that here, and I should be able to smack the boss right like that. So let's get away so we don't take the initial explosion damage and I should probably eat. Okay, so what we're looking for here is that there are no exploded blocks around. Yeah, I'm not picking anything up. Um, oh yeah, this sword, by the way, uh, it has evil aura. Evil aura, if I, I don't remember if I told you guys this, it destroys grass. It also destroys um, the cursed earth. So you gotta be careful when I'm inside our mob farm. Uh, but anyway, that's why all this Grass is dead around me. So let's see what we can do here. We got ourselves our bow with the multi-shot. That does a lot of damage real fast to the boss. And I can just finish it off with our sword. Easy. Very good. Okay. And it's impossible for me to get in, but we have a magnet. So we got ourselves a nether star. We got ourselves four supremium essence, 17 wither ash, and 20 wither skeleton skulls. No, I'm just kidding. We had those. Uh, all right, so that's not bad. Those are some pretty good drops. I like the Supremium Essence that we got. Uh, that said Withering Hyatt summon the Wither. Yep, yep. Okay, well, now that we have this done, uh, I'm going to manually fight a few more. Let's just finish up what I can do here. We'll make a few stars. That way we can make ourselves an Angel Ring and we can make ourselves a Wither Builder, move this thing into the base, yeah, and then we can spawn in Wither Bosses as we need them. All right, guys, so back at the base here, Wither Builder. There's our first item that we built with Nether Stars, and we should get a quest complete for that as well. Oh, yeah. So quest complete for the Wither Builder. Let's do this one. 
And we actually have a few other quests that are completed. I think some were in Ender IO, I think thermal expansion, nuclear crap. Yeah, we got a few of those. So let's, whoops, quest, they claim. Oh, did I just screw it all up by going back? Ah, no, they're all here. They're all here. Can I click this button? How many of those did I get? I got two. Okay, well, it doesn't really show all the ones that I selected. Dang it. That's a little finicky, isn't it? So let's claim that. Where are the other ones? Environmental tech, thermal expansion, claim it. Nuclear craft we got. I think that's all of the ones in this one. Okay. So we have a few loot chests. Let's pop them. So General Sal's chicken. We get drawer controller. All right. Uh, architect saw bench. That's from architecture craft. Uh, extreme chili. Does it say anything? It doesn't say anything like clever on the, the tool tip. Okay. And then an onion hamburger. All right. Well, we ended up getting 64 plus three wither ash one wither, uh, one withering soul. The use is on those. We can turn back into wither skeleton skulls, or we can use it in the process of making another star crux. Now, eventually we most likely will want to use uh, the withering souls for this so we can grow nether stars. But I was looking at the recipe. It does require uh, the two nether stars in it and then two of these withering souls. But the thing is, if we look at nether star seed, it gets a little crazy. We need five blocks of nether stars. Each of those are nine nether stars. Plus, we need to have the iridescent altar from astral sorcery, which we haven't really touched astral sorcery in a long time. And this also has to have like a constellation uh, infusion thing. I, I forget exactly what that is, but yeah, there's a special setup you need to have that craft be uh, that craft to work here. Then we need this colored lens, which requires a celestial altar. And yeah, we'll get back to this eventually. And there's also some other type of essence we are going to need. Mystical agriculture is a thing we probably should get into at some point. Yeah, it really is. Uh, what does it take to even make that sewage? Ugh. Anyway, um, <laughs> so now that we have that, let's try and make our other thing that we were going to make here, the angel ring. So it says that we can use either the chicken, chicken wing ring, or we can use the ring of the flying squid. I feel like we should probably go back and make one of these. I don't know if we even have that anymore. I think we use that in the process of making a ring of the flying squid. I don't think, I don't see that in there. We could use our ring of the flying squid, but I kind of feel like I might want this at some point. Ah, uh, I don't know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just make another uh, chicken wing ring. We got to go get a golden lasso with a chicken in it. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let me go and do that real quick. Golden lasso. Oh, we don't have a golden lasso anymore. Okay, so what is that? String and gold nuggets? String. I think it's something like that. So like then this, or maybe like this, there we go. Golden lasso. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go collect a chicken and we'll continue on. Okay. So I found a chicken. We made ourselves the chicken wing ring. Got most of the things together for this. We do have to make ethereal glass though. This is one of those things that we haven't had to make yet. So that requires eight pieces of glass plus a moonstone. Now, I do believe you can find moonstones underground. I don't believe we have found any at this point. Mm -mm. And they might not spawn in this mod pack. I honestly don't know. But there is a crafting recipe for it. So to make a moonstone, you need a stable, unstable ingot or just the unstable variant. We're going to go ahead and do the stable, unstable, or I'm sorry, yeah, the stable, unstable nugget. Uh, you can put nine of those together to make a stable, unstable ingot. So yeah, we want to do this. Let's make 18 of those so we can make two of the stable, unstable ingots. If you make the unstable ones, you have to craft it within 10 seconds and you can't drop it on the ground or they explode or they just kill you directly. I forget. Anyway, these are fine to have in your inventory. Um, so again, we are going to need... Uh, lunar reactive dust. So we need 16 of that. So that's 16 lapis. 16 of that. 
And that was that in the resonator or the enchantment? I don't remember. Yeah, that's in the resonator. So we have a resonator here. We can place these guys like so, and then we'll just uh, click it a few times with this thing and make that pretty quickly. So there is one moonstone. Then we need the uh, stable, unstable. These should be done by now. Cool. So that's all done. So there is two moonstones, and now, oh, you know what? I guess we only needed one, right? Because that makes eight ethereal glass. That's fine. So we just did this twice. Not a big deal. All right. So now that we have that, we should be able to make ourselves an angel ring. So Elytra, yeah, we have four additional ones. So there we go. That's awesome. So let's get the ring of the flying squid out of here. We'll replace that with the angel ring, the much better upgrade, in my opinion. And now we just have create a flight. Oh, baby, that feels good. Ah, no more having to bounce around and all of that stuff. Although I think if we do bounce around. Oh, do our slime boots not work anymore with this? I guess our slime boots just don't work at all. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have to worry about fall damage either. Our slime boots are completely nullified at this point, but I guess that's fine because uh, when we're flying around with this, yeah, we move at a pretty decent speed and it's much easier to control than trying to deal with the uh, slime boots. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. So at this point, we can get rid of the slime boots. We can get rid of probably all of this armor. We could probably upgrade it. Uh, what's the mystical agriculture armor that we have, the blue one, Superium. Yeah, so this stuff, it does give us a set bonus to no fall damage, which is fine. That's not what we're actually looking for. If we put all this stuff on... Okay, so currently we have, what is that, eight and a half shirts of armor. If we get rid of this and we put this on, we now have 11 and a half shirts. Yep, so that's pretty awesome. So we have flight, we have more... Uh, armor protection. I guess the other thing we'd want to do with that is put the protection for unbreaking three on all these pieces. And then we can just repair it with the armor repair, or we can put mending on it either way. So yeah, that's going to be much better overall. So I think for now, we'll just leave it like this. Get rid of that. Mm-hmm. That's pretty awesome. So we also aren't going to really need the hang glider anymore either, I don't think. Unless that's a way to make us go faster. I don't know. Anyway, so Wither Builder, and then we need the Wither Proof Blocks. Wither Proof. I think I had to do one more of those. Let's craft one more recipe of those things up. Um, so we need to get this thing hooked up with the Wither Builder. We're going to automate it with an interface. Interface, if I can spell that correctly. Yeah, we can automate that with an interface, and then we can request Nether Stars directly. Uh, we need a way to gather the Nether Star and put it back into that interface. So we need some kind of a hopper, like an absorption hopper, or one of these ender hoppers would work pretty good. Absorption hopper would work. Is there a filtered hopper? I don't remember. I think this thing, hmm. What about item collector? Yeah, we have these. I know these you can put a filter in. Uh, I actually don't even know if we need them filter. You know what, I'm just gonna make this thing. I do like these. We can just put that directly on the interface and that'll work rather well. So there's an item collector. We'll turn it to the advanced one. We just need a redstone torch, like so. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this stuff together and then hopefully we'll be able to request nether stars and it will just craft them and we'll be good to go. So I set up the blast proof blocks, the wither proof blocks here in the base, uh, pretty much next to where our other mob farm's going. I think it just kind of makes sense. We keep all these things together. Um, so yeah, this is set up and I did elect to use wither proof glass for the top and the bottom specifically because it appears that that glass does not allow mobs to spawn on it. You see there's no X's on it. Yeah, so I think that's going to be pretty good. So we don't get like random mob spawning down here. So pretty much what we need to do is use our wither builder that we have down here. Let's go take a look. So the wither builder, if you uh, 
turn on show working area, you can see inside of the, well, I guess inside of our wither killing area, one block above, two blocks above the wither builder. Yeah, it'll have room for where it will build the wither boss. Mm -hmm. So that is perfectly fine. So one block above this, we have the wither proof glass. And then one block above that is where the working area is for this machine. So we have power being ran to it from our uh, redstone energy flux line. So that's powering a mob crusher, which I have seen in the past. We'll kill a wither boss. We'll check this out. Uh, and then that's running further underneath to power the wither builder under there. I have our applied energistics running down to this interface down here as well. So I, in the interface, I set up a pattern. So it says three wither skeleton skulls and four soul sand should equal a nether star. Okay. On the side of that, I put an advanced item collector. Um, yeah, I didn't filter, but yeah, we have this set up here. So it's doing just a radius of three, three by six. So six tall. So I did check out everywhere in there. Like I dropped uh, some of my minor stew on the ground and it was being able to be picked up all over inside of here. So that should be good when it collects another star that will complete this recipe. Yeah. And applied energistic should be happy. So pretty much this should push the items into the wither builder. This should build the wither boss. And then our mob crusher over here should kill the wither boss. I did put a range add on tier one in here. Uh, and we can show the working area and see that it's pretty much exactly the correct size. If you don't put the range add on in there, it'll only do a one by one by one by three directly in front of the mob crusher. And that's not going to work. Right? So we put that in there. So it affects the entire area. Yeah. And I think we are pretty much good to go here. So the only thing to do is to request a nether star and hopefully everything is going to work. I have not tested this yet, <laughs> uh, but we know that it does contain the wither boss. So I guess if worst thing happens, I'll have to go in there and manually kill the wither boss. But let's say star, we will middle click and say one. It should put all the items over there. It looks like we have a wither boss already made. Yep. Hopefully everything works correctly. So the wither boss is dead. I don't see any drops in there. Let's go take a look and make sure that we have three nether stars in the system. Now we only have two. Okay. I'm a dummy. I was thinking that the mob crusher would just leave the drops on the ground. Of course it doesn't do that. We've seen that over here where it picks up all the drops. Yeah. So we don't need that item collector after all. The uh, missing nether star is right here. We are getting essence. So I guess we can just put like an import bus on the side of this mob crusher. Yeah, that's pretty much all we would have to do. Just get an import bus onto there. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's going to be pretty good. So it did not complete the recipe because those are in here. Although it did let me request another one. So we should have two nether star uh, crafts pending, I would say, right? So there's one, there's two. Yeah, let's cancel these. Okay. So we're not eating up our CPUs anymore. Do we have an import bus? No. Uh, import bus. Emmy import bus. Can we craft that? We need the sticky piston. Yeah. Piston. We have one of those. Let's grab a slime ball. We'll turn it into a sticky piston. We'll make this. Let's grab the um, acceleration cards. Three is more than enough. Oh, and then I need ME glass cable, which I have on me. Awesome. So now when we do this, it should work, but let's get this thing hooked up first and make sure that we can in fact request and complete the requests. So that goes there. That, that, that these guys that should suck all those items out. Mm hmm. So we should have four nether stars in the system at this point. Yeah. So let's request another one. I just want to see this thing say five. So I know that we can automatically craft these things without having to like intervene at all. We just, the system, if it needs it, it'll just automatically spawn in wither bosses. You know what I mean? 
So that thing's gone. I think we're pretty much set here. Oops. And five. Yeah. This armor that we have does have step assist. So I'm still getting used to that. So that's really cool. We can now automatically request nether stars. It'll spawn in the wither boss. It'll kill the wither boss. It'll collect the stars. Um, we should be collecting the Supremium Essence as well. That's going to help us out for Mystical Agriculture later on. We should be able to uncraft it all the way down to like the lowest tier Essence. Or this will also help us out when we do the Insanium Essence, which I don't think we can do just yet. But yeah, that's definitely a thing that we're going to be working on here at some point pretty soon. But guys, we're going to go and wrap the episode up here for today. Automatic Nether Stars. That's pretty cool. We did not get to the Crystal Teen ingots. We can now make nether stars whenever we want to. So that is going to be next on the thing to do. And then hopefully we'll start into the wireless power next episode, possibly. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.